Hello, folks. Nice to be here. A critical job in making sure that the elevated prices don't become entrenched rests with the Federal Reserve, which has a dual mandate, full employment and stable prices. The Federal Reserve provided extraordinary support during the crisis for the previous year and a half. Given the strength of our economy and the pace of recent price increases, it's appropriate, as the Federal Chairman, Chairman Powell, the Fed Chairman Powell has indicated, to recalibrate the support that is now necessary. I respect the Fed's, the Fed's independence, and I've nominated five superb individuals to serve on the Federal Board of Governors, men and women, from a variety of ideological perspectives. They're eminently qualified, historically diverse, and have earned bipartisan praise, $400,000 a year, or raising the deficit. In fact, my plan cuts the deficit. COVID-19 has compounded that many times over. A couple of months ago, in this very room, we talked and we heard dire warnings about how the supply chain problems could create a real crisis around the holidays. So we acted. We brought together business and labor, and that much predicted crisis did not occur. 99% of the packages were delivered on time, and shelves were stocked. And notwithstanding the recent storms that have impacted many parts of our country, the share of goods in stock at stores is 89% now, which has barely changed from the 91% before the pandemic. I often see empty shelves being shown on television. 89% are full, which is only a few points below what it was before the pandemic. A million dollars worth of sophisticated equipment, defensive equipment, to the Ukrainians. Bottom line, if price increases are what you're worried about, the best answer is my Build Back Better plan. Third thing we're going to do, promote competition. Look, in too many industries, a handful of giant companies dominate the market in sectors like meat processing, railroad shipping, and other areas. This isn't a new issue. It's not been the reason we've had high inflation today. It's not the only reason. It's been happening for a decade. But over time, it has reduced competition, squeezed out small businesses and farmers, ranchers, and increased the price for consumers. We end up with an industry like the meat processing industry, where four big companies dominate the markets. Pay ranchers less for their cattle they grow, charge consumers more for beef, hamburger meat, whatever they're buying. Prices are up. Look, I'm a capitalist. But capitalism without competition is not capitalism. It's exploitation. See you at the next conference, okay? Thank you. It is now uh, almost 6. With, with all due respect, I'm going to see you at the next conference, okay? Thank you.